Hi everyone, Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with Jaspi 7 box multi-year basketball mixer. And at the end of the break, we're going to give away one of those spots right there. This break will also part of the break credit, all the details on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Connor, why would we need to branch out to the East Coast when I broadcast to the East Coast? That's silly. Doesn't make sense at all. Let us run the business, Connor. We've been doing this for a minute or two. There's all the seven boxes right there. It's all right there. I think there's the momentum in the back. We'll probably do that first. All right, big thanks to all of these folks for getting into the action. And there's all the team. A physical location? No, I, I, I can't trust you, Connor. I don't even know you. Let's roll it and randomize it five and a four, nine times. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and ninth and final time. After nine times, we've got Stephen Cohen all the way down to Anthony. Five and a four, nine times for the teams. Two. And ninth and final time. Good luck, everybody. Curtis, is that a dabbing emoji? I've never seen that used before. Timberwolves down to the San Antonio Spurs. All right, Stephen Cohen, you have the uh, Minnesota Timberwolves. Connor, you got the Milwaukee Bucks. Dusty with the Thunder. Drew with the Celtics. John with the Trailblazers. Jason with the Bulls. TJ with the Cavs. Maverick, you got my Lakers. Jesse with the Hornets. Daniel with the Pistons. Jeff with the Rockets. Maverick with the Grizz. Connor with the Pacers. Mike Tower with the Magic. Jesse with the Sixers. Bradley with the Kings. David Bruins with the Wizards. Brad, you have the Nuggets. Brian, last spot, Mojo Raptors. Bradley with the Pelicans. TJ TJ Leonard with the Nets, John with the Hawks, Jeff with the Clippers, Derek with the Suns, Maverick with the Maverick with the Mavericks. Nice. Bradley with the Heat. Bono, you have the Golden State Warriors and the Jazz. Steven with the Knicks and Anthony with the San Antonio Spurs. All right, so let's alphabetize this by column B. And I'm going to pause the video and allow uh, a little bit of trading time, and then we'll get into the break. Stick around. We'll be right back. All right. Welcome back, everybody. There was a lot of trade chatter, but at the end of the day, no deals were done. Seven box multi-year basketball mixer on the 31st. Thanks, everyone, for getting in. Appreciate it. At the end of the break, I'll re-randomize all of your names, and the name on top is going to get a transcendent tennis spot. That's a $360 value or something like that. That's a lot. It's a guaranteed hit break too. You're going to get guaranteed something out of that break. That drops tomorrow. We still need to do a number of those of these type of breaks to completely fill it up, but we did a lot today. Hopefully we can do more tomorrow and, and do the break. Let's start. How, how Should we go by year? Sure. Let's go with the oldest box out there, 1213 Momentum, which is all the way back here. All right, so good luck, everybody. Appreciate everyone getting in. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Obviously, these Kobe cards go to the Lakers. That'll be for Maverick. Sometimes there could be autographs in here. Maverick. Very rare. I think we've probably ripped hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of those packs. We've maybe over like the last four or five, four and a half years we've been breaking, five years we've been breaking. I think I've only seen like one Kobe autograph. All right. I think there's the extra glue on here, or the material they use on here kind of sticks these cards together. There is a Derek Favors die cut. That's 15 out of 25. That'll be for uh, Bono and the Jazz. There is Jason Thompson to this. <laughs> look how these names will blast from the past. We got Michael Kidd Gilchrist. That goes to Charlotte. So Charlotte stuff will go to Charlotte. New Orleans stuff will go to New Orleans. I forgot to mention that. 
But that goes to Charlotte, and that will be for Jesse and the Hornets. Rookie Michael Kidd Gilchrist. There's Darius Morris, momentous rookies. No idea where Darius Morris. Has it been six years already? All right. Rex is our histor our our, uh, our historian. Oh, he. I think he was a late. No, well, he must be a Laker in this set. Or Sixers. All right, I'll look at the checklist for Darius freaking Morris on expired redemption. Although Panini's pretty good about honoring some of those expired redemptions, so at least give it a shot, whoever this goes to. Oh, it's, they don't list the teams on CardboardConnection.com. What about GroupRateCheckList.com? Maybe. <laughs> All this for Darius Morris. But hey, accuracy is key here at Jaspies, ladies and gentlemen. Rather take the extra time to be accurate. Which I'm sure, I hope everyone can appreciate. Ah, yes, Group Break Checklist does have a checklist for this. Show me Darius Morris. Lakers. All right, so that goes to Maverick, who has my Lakers. Remember, sir. It is expired. I've heard a lot of stories. People just redeem the number that's behind there, and it just goes through. A lot of times you can ask Panini. Maybe they'll, they'll actually get you something in return on that. So it's worth a shot. So you can also give that a shot. Festus Azili was right here. There he is. Festus Azili. Remember him? Golden State Warriors, Pano with that one. Yeah, give it a shot, Maverick. And it, even if that, that number doesn't go through, I mean, I've heard people, we've had stuff out of, out of like prime 2012-13 prime hockey, and there's redemption there. People scratch it off and it still goes through. Festazili Warriors, Pano once again. We got the Reggie Jackson for the OKC Thunder. That'll be for Dusty. There's Jeff Taylor for Charlotte. That'll be Jesse H. once again. And we got Jeff Teague, Bob Lanier, Kawhi Leonard. Miss Kobe. No numbers on the back? No, just regular base cards right there, but these will all go to you, Maverick, and the Lakers. There you go. All right. Next box. I think we're kind of going in year. I think the next one is 14, 15, Panini, Donruss. That's hoops. There's 14, 15. It doesn't have RC on that Kawhi, Jesse. I don't think that's his first. I think his rookie year was 2011, the year before. A lot of parallel. Are we looking for... I don't know if an autograph is guaranteed per box, but we'll, we'll find out. Is it? Well, he has stats for 11 and 12 on the back of this card. Or was this the crazy year where they put two years in one? So 
Yeah, he was drafted in 2011. But I wonder if this is the although they would have they would have put RC on there, you would think. All right. Let's pop these open here. Who's in this 2014 class? I don't remember back all the way back to 2014. 2014 NBA draft. That's the oh, that's the Andrew Wiggins, Joel Embiid year, plus Marcus Smart, Julius Randle, so on and so forth. Nikola Jokic could be a possibility. Exum, even. No, I don't think this is the Devin Booker year. I think he might be the year after. Yeah, Devin Booker is 16. Wait, no, 15. Sorry. Yeah, 15, 16. Is the Carl Anthony Towns, D'Angelo Russell, Porzingis... Etc. Cetera, Etc. Cetera. Devin Booker year. I don't know if we have a. Do we have a box of 2015 in this? We do. We do. Gala. That one. I don't know if this 2014 was the best draft class out there. Andrew Wiggins, Jabari Parker. I guess Jabari could have been a. If he had stayed. If he. Had good knees. Embiid is pretty strong. But then it was Aaron Gordon, who's solid. Exum, Marcus Smart, who's solid. A lot of solid players, but I mean, not a lot. There's, I mean, there's like no all stars in like the top 10. Except for Embiid. Yeah, yeah. Jabari was supposed to be what Giannis is now. I mean, it was just those knees. J J Jabari Parker, you watch... I mean, even if you've forgotten, go back and watch some, like, some highlights of Jabari Parker in his first year or so. And he is... It's just... Same with Derrick Rose, right? Like his first year was amazing and then just injuries just derailed that entire career and what could have been. There's Jeremy Grant, Sixers, 36 out of 99. That will be for Jesse H. There's Jabari Parker right there. What could have been? There's Bruno Caboclo. Raptors. Is that numbered? I don't think it is. Yeah, I don't see it. It'll ship, though. It's Andrew Bogut. Donruss basketball is such a weird set. It's kind of all over the place. There's Nene. I like it, but there's like hard to really get like a rhythm in the packs when you're breezing through these in a group break. Right? Here's 25 out of 49. Die cut Andrea Bargnani.
That is for the Knicks. That's going to go to Stephen B. Blake Griffin to 999. Apologies, uh, sir. Al Jefferson. Your first rig is tier one. And yeah, I came on in the fall of 2014. Has it been that long already? You've come a long way, boys and girls. Thank you. Giannis is 13, four, he's the year before, right? I think so. I think this is his second year, yeah. Oh, nice, Rex. Yeah, 13, Connor. Yeah, that's what I thought. Wish we had a box of that, 13, 14. Those boxes are so crazy expensive. The thirteen four just because of just because of Giannis. Um, Rex, uh, no, I think I think those we ship sealed. Oh, I was going to, Maverick, but since you asked, no. I mean, we can't do that. This has to come from the heart, and it was going to, but now you just ruined it for everybody. Now you ruined it for everyone, Maverick. I was going to add that that case of... Uh, I was going to add that case of 2014 or 2013-14 National Treasures with those like eight million dollar Giannis RPAs, but then I was just I was just like, boy, if no one asks, I'll do it. <laughs> I wasn't. I'm kidding guys. <laughs> Alex is like rough man. Um Hakeem Olajuwon relic. Alright. Uh Rockets, that goes to Jeff Thor. I, I wish we had that kind of that N T. That's almost A, impossible to find, and B, like an insane, in, insanely high price. All right, so that was 14, uh, 14 15. Let's move on up to, well, 15, 16 is next, but Gal is kind of nice. I want to save that towards the end, and that limited too. So why don't we do one of these first? Uh, let's do old 17, 18. Let's go Jason Tatum hunting. Um, so 1718, aside from Jason Tatum, who else are we looking at here? I guess Markel Fultz is still up there. If people want to buy low on Markel Fultz. Lonzo, I think, still does okay on a secondary market. Laurie Markin is still in the mix. Donovan Mitchell, Bam Adebayo. That's right. Those guys are in the mix, too. Right, right, right. That's the Kuzier too, Connor. You're right. Kyle Kuzma's in the mix as well. All right, that's okay. This is not a this is not a bad class. I don't like that Donovan Mitchell.
yeah, Dennis Smith Jr. had such an excellent first half of the season, his rookie season. Tailed off a little bit, which I thought was just maybe rookie wall, you know, and I didn't really think much of it. And then Dallas was like, oh, yeah, we're going to trade you. Like they were, they were, they were just like, let's, let's ship him out of there. So I guess, I guess they didn't really think that he was going to be it or I don't know. Is that the Porzingis deal? Or is that something else? I mean, he's still got, he's still pretty young. So there's still some ceiling there, but I guess not as high as it was. As we hoped it would be. Was it poor? I guess. I guess I'd move. <laughs> I guess I'd move Dan Smith Jr. for Porzingis. I'd probably do the same thing, but it's Jonathan Isaac, rated rookie to forty nine. There's Devin Reed, Frank Tillakina, and we got Steven Jackson signature series. Pacers, Connor on the board. New guy mojo. All right. Thanks for joining us, man. De'Aaron Fox rated rookie. Zach Randolph, Lime Green to 175. Josh Jackson had a lot of had a lot of ceiling too, but I think maybe maturity issues for Josh Jackson is what's holding him back. Semi Ojale, there's the Donovan Mitchell. For Bono and the Jazz. Not a hollow, just a base one, but still some solid value there. If it was hollow, that, that would be pretty big. Right, we're just talking about Dan Smith Jr. right there. And there's the rookies, Markel Fultz. How about you guys, but I feel like he still has like he can end up being like this Oladipo type, or he just emerges out of nowhere a couple of years later, and it's like where was that when the Sixers took him first overall five years ago or whatever? I feel like is what we're gonna say to one seventy five Sixers Jesse with that one. I don't know, maybe throw that in a drawer, Jess, and then see what, see if he ends up being something. Brooke Lopez to one ninety nine. And then Sweet Lou Williams Clippers edition. But I mean, the Magic, he's on this, uh, Fultz on the Magic now, of course. The Magic, I feel like, got a great deal on him. You know, so I think, I don't know what happened in, in Philadelphia. They just, I feel like they just all, they, they got off on the wrong foot from the get with Markel Fultz. Like, Markel Fultz tried to screw with his shot in the offseason after he was drafted, which I don't know if he communicated that to the Sixers properly. Otherwise, maybe they could have helped. But he kind of went rogue on that. Then there, were, then he got some sort of nagging injury. And then the Sixers, I feel like there were faults on both sides. And so the Sixers kind of jerked him around a little bit with the injury stuff and made him redo the shot and yeah and then Simmons and Fultz couldn't really play together whenever they were on the court and did he get in a did he get in a car accident Connor Markel Fultz forget about that maybe that was part of the I don't know either way it just just was not right it just it just got off on the wrong foot and it just didn't work out but I, I feel like there's just faults a number of faults on all sides. Oh, was that the conspiracy that he got into a car accident? So that's why his his he had a messed up shoulder, messed up wing. 
That's possible, yeah. I, I, think, I think maybe that starts to ring some bells. I don't know if that actually happened, but... But anyway, I think, uh, I think the magic got him for pretty much nothing. And if they can kind of rehabilitate Markel Fultz, as a player, that is. I mean, I, I think his character isn't really a big issue. Seems like a pretty good kid, but, but if they can kind of rehabilitate his game... I mean, that's a number, former number one overall pick we're talking about. And before the draft, if you guys remember, it was like, who's going to go number one, Lonzo or Fultz? And Markel Fultz, you know, looked pretty good with Washington, right? So, so the, the, the only reason why I'm making, I'm making this case for Markel, Markel Fultz, I think Victor Oladipo ruined it for me. Like, now I think everyone can do that. You know, Oladipo was like, what, a top 10 pick or something like that and was but was kind of a bust tag on him, shipped around to a couple different teams, you know, and then just found his groove, found the right spot. So now, now I think everyone can do it. <laughs> but, I mean, Marco Fultz is, was a, a number one pick for a reason. It's not like I'm talking about a number 30 pick, you know, I mean, who knows at that point? Wait a second, where are we here? Oh, we're in 1920 now. There's Alonzo Mourning. There he is again, Markel Fultz. I'm, I believe in you, Markel. I believe. Nice Zion. So nice Zion for the Pelicans. I can open up this penny sleeve here. That will be for Bradley. Got randomized the Pels. Paul George, high voltage. Antoine Walker autograph. Hoops Inc. for the Celtics. Drew with the Celtics, the C's. Oppo Joe Mojo. Yeah, same with Fultz Rex. Or same with Lonzo Rex. I think Lonzo didn't quite fit into that Lakers team right there or was never really given the probably the time to develop. I think the Lakers were so interested in, you know, kind of building a more complete team right away. Hachimura has a nice ceiling here. That goes to David Bruins and the Wizards. But I think Lonzo, I think, as uh, someone who, who was saying it earlier, someone was saying earlier, I think Lonzo is starting to kind of get himself into a good, comfortable mix with the Pelicans. There's Justin Holiday. Memphis Grizzlies. That'll go to Maverick. Oh, I'm sorry. That's Pacers. Sorry, I was looking at that. Sorry, Maverick. Um, Pacers edition. That's right. It was, he's over there now. Connor instead with the Pacers. There you go, Connor. Love love the holidays. In LA they're pretty popular here. There's Doncic to ten. The Doncic to ten. Who has the Mavericks? Maverick has the Mavericks. Nice five out of ten. Artist proof, Luka Doncic. I'm hearing that some of the, some of the second year Doncic stuff I think still does better than one would think on the secondary market. LeBron James in his Lakers gear too. I think his carries a little extra value there too. Maverick and the Lakers. Uh, that are involved naturally are going to take place the 
I'll save one of those RJ Barrett's as well. Is that Simmons? A... No. RJ Barrett, Nick, Stephen B. I mean, at this point, let's, should we mix in our RJ Bear or uh, John Morant here too? There he is, nice John Morant, rookie card for uh, for Maverick and the Memphis Grizzlies. Nice. For those of you not familiar with hoops, basketball, even though it's just those seemingly innocuous base cards of the top rookies will go for a pretty decent amount on the secondary market compared to other similar products. The old supply and demand for, uh, for basketball. Turns out pretty good. Spark plugs, Trey Young for the Hawks. And what else do we have here at the end? Zach Levine. James Harden, some cool, some cool photography there. And that was Hoops. Yeah, yeah, Lonzo's dad seems to have chilled out a little bit. Although, all the stories that we hear here in L.A., let's do this limited, is that, is that I, like, that's just how he is? So to them, that's just what dad does. You know what I mean? Just kind of like always a loud mouth. So I think they're kind of used to it. I don't know if it, I, that actually affects their game. Ah, oh, points. Lame. All right, so the name on top, I'm going to re-randomize all the names. Name on top is going to get that transcendent tennis spot. The second name will get points. Hopefully this will be the only points card. 400 is a decent amount, though. There's Chandler Parsons, 99. Although there was a little bit of a... A little bit of a tiff between them and the whole business side of things. But now that Lonzo is on his own, I don't know. I mean, I think... I think it really matters, but I'm glad he's out of the media, though. <laughs> There's Buddy Heal. Nice. Pelicans edition. 27 out of 49. Jersey and auto for Bradley. Nice. I like Buddy Heal. There you go. That was limited. Let's do uh, 15, 16 gala. It's a pretty nice set. So let's see what we get out of here. We got 36 out of 99, Al Jeffrey, and we'll close out with that Zion blaster box. That could be pretty huge. All right, we got DeMar DeRozan, 34 out of 60, primetime relic for the Raptors. Brian, Brian M. with the Raptors. It's like Celtics logo right there. It's scary Terry Rozier, 6 out of 40. For Drew and the Boston Celtics. A couple more here. We got Zach Levine, red carpet signatures. 14 out of 30 for the Timberwolves. That's going to go to Stephen K. Stephen Cohen. There's a couple of Stephen K's, I think. With the Timberwolves. There you go. And the last one here is going to be a Laker. It's AC Green. 
32 out of 60. Cinematic signatures. Nice. Classic. 32 out of 60 on that one. And that's from Maverick and the Los Angeles Lakers. Nice. All right, now let's see what's in this guy here. Good luck, everybody. And Ingram reveals the Hassan Whiteside relic for the Trailblazers, John, with Portland. Julia Okafor, green. Denzel Valentine, silver. A Zion, silver. A Morant, silver could be huge here. There's Bogdan Bogdanovich. Oh, that's it. E last silver, last chance. Josh Richardson for the Sixers. And DeMarcus Cousins at the end. All right. That is that. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Well... Good news is is that if you went hitless in this break, once we fill all of those transcendent tennis spots, this break will be included in that big randomizer for that huge amount of break credit. That's the good news. Second good news is that you also have a chance at a spot in this break right here. And uh, second name on the randomizer will get the 400 points, a little consolation prize. After... Eight times. Good luck, everybody. Five and a three. Name on top gets the t transcendent tennis spot after eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eighth and final time. Good luck, everybody. After eight, second name, David Bruins. You'll get the 400 points. And congrats to, and thanks, everybody, for giving this shot and for getting into the break. Congrats to Dusty. Dusty Donnelly. I don't think I called your name all break. So there you go. Top's transcendent tennis spot going your way. You're guaranteed a hit in that break. We'll put a little rooftop next to your name, and we'll put, I guess we'll put the number seven next to it for the, no, we'll put MY next to it, multi-year basketball mixer. That's what this is. Thanks for watching, everybody. I'm Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.